Previously, on week 1 of Twitch Prime botting, we managed to create a Chaos Druid farm, several 600 total level accounts, and started up a massive Hill Giant and Moss Giant farm to train combat. We sent these guys to Elder Druids by using Prime membership rather than purchasing a bond. Again, the focus is that we will be account building to make most of our profits. I managed to sell all 10 of my 600 total level accounts for $4 each. For only 15 minutes of work, which was setting up the task to get these levels and making 40 bucks, that is really good. I also expect my Elder Druid farm to make over $150 in account sales and 210 mil in gold. Anyways y'all, it is week 2 of the Twitch Prime event and we are kicking things off showcasing some of the bots that's at the Mage Training Arena minigame. Remember how I said that I will be building RDO accounts in week 2? Well, that will be the focus for these Mage Training accounts. Since one of the requirements is getting 79 Mage, it is best that we train Magic through the Mage Training Arena. The requirements are very low with only 20 hit points and 7 Mage being required. Botting Hub offers a script which you can check out under the description. Many Botting Hub users have used the script and has provided great results getting over 90 plus mage and over 15 to 30 mil in gold and barely any bans. It is one of the best scripts offered in the Elite and Elite plan. Check the link in the pinned comments to view more about the script. Getting 79 mage at the mage training arena will only take 4 days. If my bots were to run 24 7 until their prime membership expired, then they could get up to 85 mage. The minigame also offers pretty good GP with hovering up to around 100 to 120k GP per hour. It is a reliable source of magic training XP and gold farming which makes it the perfect method for account building. I checked on my elder druid farm and they've been running for a few days now. One of my accounts reached 64 attack and 75 strength. There is 8 elder druid bots running on my main PC and 7 on my laptop. The rest of my accounts are in the 75 strength range and haven't experienced any bans. This account has 80 attack and 80 strength. Each account has made 6.2 mil in gold. That's over 90 mil gold in 3 days. I would say that Jagus bot detection is pretty impressive. My Chaos Druid farm is going pretty strong. While many of my bots get banned after a couple of days, I still profit after 24 hours and I can easily replace them. As you can see, the run times are not that long and that's because they run for a certain duration before starting the mealing script. One of my Elder Druid bots ran out of membership. From 7 days of botting at Elder Druids, it got 77 attack and 80 strength. I have some leftover loot in my bank that I didn't sell while I was running the Elder Druid script. I can sell all the herbs and uniques I got from Elder Druids using the Fury Bank seller script. A lot of my bots ended up with around 8 million gold each. I should have been able to make 10 to 13 mil per bot, but due to an in-game update, I forgot to restart my bots after a day. I mealed a little bit of gold over to these guys so that they can purchase a bond. I will most likely send these guys to train at Undead Druids in the future. I started a new batch of Moss Giants in order to hit around 60 attack, strength, defense, and 45 prayer. This one account reached 60 attack, 63 strength, and 61 defense. Here is the loot that I got from training at Hill Giants and Moss Giants. I did not fight Obor nor Bryophyta because I want these accounts to go straight in members as soon as possible using Prime Membership. The Progressive Hill Giant script supports Ober Killing which drops the Hill Giant Club that goes for 550k. I will be turning this new batch of Moss Giants into Nightmare Zone ready accounts. Nightmare Zone is a combat minigame located just northwest of Uniel Bank. It is a semi-AFK minigame that is known to grant good combat XP rates across melee, magic, and range by killing monsters that spawn within the area. Upon killing a monster, one is granted with Nightmare Zone points which can be used in the reward shop. The shop has a bunch of hurt boxes, imbuements, and teleports. It is common for players to get enough Nightmare Zone points to imbue their ranks granting additional bonuses. For a melee setup, it is recommended to use the Obi Armor setup which requires 60 attack, strength, and defense, or the Dehirok setup which requires 70 attack, strength, and defense. The Dehirok setup can grant up to 100 to 130k combat speed per hour using the overload slash absorption method with rock cake if your stats are around 90 attack and strength. Otherwise, it is more optimal to use the obsidian armor. What makes a nightmare zone account ready is that it has the following 60 attack, strength, and defense in order to equip the obsidian armor and weapon. Rock cake to drain one's HP all the way to one to use absorption potions effectively and the following quests completed. These accounts are ready to be turned into members using prime codes in order to make them nightmare zone ready. I ran the account builder script to get the requirements for the quests. Here on this account, I'm getting 36 woodcutting for Lost City. 
This one is getting 10 fishing for fishing contests, which is a sub requirement to get the rock cake. And this one is getting 20 smithing in order to do the tourist trap. By completing the tourist trap, I can get 20 agility, which is needed for the mountain daughter quest. On one account, I'm doing the fire arena quest. Here is more elder druid footage. They've been running for only 5-6 to six hours due to an in-game update, so we had to restart the client. The script is really good for training combat and I experienced close to no bans training here in the past. Another one of my bots have over 6 mil in gold and over 1 mil in loot. A lot of these guys reached 70 attack in the meantime, so I equipped this Cerodome and Sword on each account and reran the script. Back in my mage training arena farm, I'm getting some random stats with the account builder script so that I avoid bot profiling. I'm not getting stats that are too high but not too low either. It is important to not look like a bot so that your bots last longer. My bots have been going strong and they've been just running for over 15 hours. I'm about to switch these guys over from using the account builder script to MTA. And just like that, several more bots are up in just one click. 12 MTA bots are running on my server and then 8 more on my laptop. I went to sleep and I woke up and they're still running 21 hours in. Here is more elder druid footage with this bot running 10 hours in. This account has 80 attack, 78 strength, and 69 defense. The reason why the run times are not as long as say 50 or 100 hours is because I'm using the botting hub manager to loop a task where the elder druid script runs until X amount of breaks within the script has been reached. Then it sells a loot using the GE trader script. This account has over 12 million in gold with a little bit of loot left over. I ended up buying a bond in this account to train my account up and pay to play. The GE Trader script supports redeeming a bond, so instead of having to pay membership codes for an overpriced amount, you can use a mealing script to meal gold from a mealer, then use a GE Trader script to purchase a bond which redeems it automatically. Membership codes could go from $2.10 to $2.20 each, while a bond is $1.60. You save 50 cents for each account if you're not using membership codes. Stay tuned for the next upcoming videos to see what I plan on doing with this account. Some of our MTA accounts had their membership expire and these are the stats that we ended up with. They have around 9 to 11 infinity boots on each account which sells for 380k each. That's around 4 million in gold on each account. I ended up mealing 4 mil on each account to get a bond so that I can finish getting 79 mage and then train range until it reaches 70 range. I managed to get this account already already with the required stats. Some of my elder druid accounts did MTA for a bit to get 55 magic so that I can cast high alchemy. It is highly recommended for this training spot which lies under the fourthest dungeon. Killing undead druids here grants up to 150k to 200k gp per hour depending on your break settings on top of a lot of combat xp per hour. You can see the trend with these scripts that I've been using. Botting Hub provides scripts where you can make gold farms and earn XP at the same time. I would say that the Botting Hub Undead Druid script is one of the best scripts out there to train combat and the ban rates are close to none. If you are interested in purchasing one of the lifetime products on the Botting Hub page, use code Tarek20 for 20% off all lifetime products. If you have any questions, feel free to join the community discord and you can shoot me a DM. After getting 55 mage on my elder druid accounts, I sent them off to undead druids where they will be training combat for a very long, long, long time. I will check on these accounts once every week. I will get 99 strength in a few weeks and all I have to do is restart the bots once a week for 3 times due to the weekly updates. It is just that easy. So I just checked the market for the void waker hilt and it's dropped from 80 mil to 53 mil in just over a week. Good job Jagex for giving us an opportunity to crash all of these prices. That wraps up week 2 of our botting series during prime month. I managed to sell a few RDO accounts which got me over $60 and sold a bit of gold from the elder druid bots. I also sold some of the elder druid and nightmare zone ready accounts too. I've made over $200 so far but most of our profit will be coming in at around week 3 and week 4. Stay tuned for the next video.